Hello, hi everyone. Hello. How are you all? It's Sarah here from Sarah McCauley Studio. I'm a brand ambassador for Aussie Decor Transfers. And this is the Aussie Decor Transfer Facebook page. Um, so for some of you who are jumping on, say hello, let me know where you're from. Um, I would love to connect with you this evening um, in dark old Sydney, Australia. So um, I'm here to show you a beautiful piece of self-adhesive decoupage tonight. And um, this is a brand new one. This is the first um, demonstration of this particular design on the page. So I'm, I'm kind of excited about um, having the privilege to show it to you. Um, hi everyone, hello Jesse. thanks for jumping on. Uh, if you missed the beginning, I was just um, saying that I'm demonstrating a brand new design tonight. Check this out. Um, it's called Japanese Cranes and Indigo Blooms. How pretty is that? This is only part of it as well. This is the piece I have cut up already, so it's, it's really big. It's great. Hi, thanks for watching. Thanks for jumping on. Let me know um, where you're watching from and what the weather's like. Drop me an emoji. It's lovely having your company. Thank you for taking the time to watch me. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Sarah. Um, my business is Sarah McCauley Studio in Sydney, Australia, and I'm one of the brand ambassadors for Aussie Decor. And it is a real privilege to talk to you tonight. So I will get right into it. Here is the print. So um, comes in a cardboard tube, fully recyclable. It is size A1, which is pretty big. These are really good value pieces because um, they're huge. You can either use them on quite a large piece of furniture. You can cut them up like I do and use them on three or four different projects. If you want to know the actual dimensions, um, just over 59 by 84 centimeters or 23 by 31 inches, just over. Um, so A1. Hello, Yvonne. Thanks for jumping on. Jan, how lovely to see you. Thanks for watching. So it comes in the big tube. When you get it out of your tube, lay it flat for a little while. I normally lay it flat for about 48 hours just to settle. This is the piece that I'm going to be using tonight on my project. I managed to get the whole um, crane into my piece, which I wanted. I've also, um, if I have time to show you, I've also cut up another crane for another project. And despite having cut up both of those, I've still got all of this left. So you can just, that's just to give you an example of how much you get in a tube, you get heaps. Hey Deanne, how are you? Hi, Alison, how lovely to see you. Thanks for joining. Yeah, I bet it is super freezing down there. I mean, it's cold here, but I know it gets even colder in um, your neck of the woods out in the countryside. So I will get right into it and show you what I'm going to be using uh, the decoupage on. So we call these the self-adhesive decoupage because they come, they're like an adhesive vinyl and you basically peel off the backing to adhere them. So super easy. There is a little bit of a technique to it, which I'll show you. Um, but I've done about three or four projects with these now and they're, they're they're hard to get wrong, to be honest. So this cute little piece um, I got for $5 on Facebook Marketplace. I like it because um, it has that little sort of Asian inspired look to it. Um, Deanne, thank you. Yes, it is a gorgeous tray. And it's got um, foldy up legs. So you could either use it as, you know, a tray in bed if you're lucky enough that someone brings you breakfast in bed, or you could, um, I think this would actually look really cute as a little, you know, like a little altar table with a candle and some, some blooms and, you know, maybe a little Buddha or something. So you could use it for heaps of things. Hello, Pammy. Hello, Eileen. Thanks for joining. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm in Sydney, Australia. It's dark. It's 
cold, we're in the middle of our winter, um, and I'm, I always like to hear where everyone is. I know that um, some of you guys watching from the US, you've had some real, you've had a real heat wave, and that can be hard too. And in the UK as well, I believe. So with these, once you've got the edge, you just find whichever edge is willing to peel up easily. Stay safe. Deanne says, stay safe. Thank you, Deanne. It is, um, you know, it is a tricky time for us for many parts of Australia, but it gives us a bit more time for creative projects, right? So what I've done here is, can you see that? I've literally just turned down one edge of the backing. So I've got a little bit of sticky. Hi Siobhan, how are you going? Just a little bit of sticky to get me going. And this way it gives you absolute control. You're not gonna peel off all the backing at once and risk having a big flapping sticky sheet. So I hope you can see this. And what I'm gonna do with my sticky edge is I'm just gonna position it here, right at the end of my tray, right here, right up into the corner. Can you see that? So I've literally, I've just got vroom, that little bit stuck on. If you don't get it right first time, don't panic because with these, you do have the ability to lift it up and reposition. Um, which I've had to do many a time because I'm not the best. Um, I'm, I'm one of those people who gets it, you know, covers school books with sticky black plastic and makes a right old mess with bubbles and everything. But these are really foolproof. You don't get bubbles. They're totally cool. Hi, Judy. How are you? Deanne, tell me about it. I'm useless at covering books for school. They're a pain in the butt, aren't they? Okay, so I might just bring the camera a little bit near and tilt it down, just to give you a little bit more of a view. There we go. And with these, the trick is to just gently, so I've got the first bit on and I'm just gonna pull a little bit of the backing paper off at once, whilst smoothing the top. And the tool you need for this is one of our Aussie Decor Blue tools. I know some of you have got one of these already. These are absolutely brilliant. You can use these over and over again, last for ages. Um, this was, I think, $4.95 Australian. We've got them in all the territories that we sell in, the US, Europe, um, Australia, um, all over the place. And in each country, they are just, you know, a few dollars. They're, yeah, they're brilliant. Okay, so the blue tool has a felt edge, which is perfect for these self-adhesive projects because it, um, it doesn't damage the product because it's soft and felty, but because it's got the plastic inside, you can get enough um, oomph, enough leverage to adhere nicely. Hi Liz, good morning. How are you, love? Hope you're well. Here we go. Now, I can actually see I've positioned this a little bit too near the top of my tray and I'm worried it's gonna leave a gap at the bottom. So I'm gonna be really brave and pull it off and just reposition it. And these are great, they don't tear, they're forgiving. I'm just gonna shuffle it down a bit that's better. And just do that bit again. They're sticky enough so that you can do that, but they're not so sticky that they're gonna like rip the surface of your project underneath either. So here we go. Hello, Virginia. How are you, Han? Hello, Rani. Thank you for watching. How are you, love? Are you guys out of lockdown or are you still in it?
If you've just jumped on, thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's, um, I'm in Sydney. It's Monday night here in Sydney. I'm Sarah. I'm a brand ambassador for Aussie Decor. And um, this is a really, I'm really thrilled to be showing you this tonight because this is the first time this product has been used in a demo. So it's a privilege for me. And it's called, for those of you who want to look it up on the website, it's called Japanese Crane and Indigo Blooms. The link to the Aussie Decor website is above this video. So please jump on, have a look at all the products. Um, there are actually 19 self-adhesive decoupage designs, or there were last time I checked, um, available globally. So um, ja if Japanese cranes isn't your thing, have a look because there's all sorts of amazing ones on there. New ones coming out all the time. There's a, some toucans coming out too. So as you can see, I'm just smoothing as I go, no bubbles. And the surface is really quite lustrous and quite um, thick. Because it is vinyl, it's just, um, it is quite tough. And when you put these on, you don't have to um, put a varnish or anything over the top because they are already um, wipeable and water resistant. So the only thing I do when I put these on is I use a seal around the edges just for longevity and just to stop any edges lifting up just in case you know there's a little bit of air or anything under the edges but you don't need, actually need to seal the surface at all even if you use them on um, you know furniture trays whatever okay so now I don't have a bubble but I do have something under here which is bothering me and I think it's a little bit of grit or dust so I'm just going to lift that up and see what it is Yeah, that is just a little bit of dust, I think. Yeah, and that's gone now, so that's good. So before I started tonight, I had a bit of fun because I googled Japanese cranes to see if there are any interesting facts about them. Um, and I found out that they are not only one of the rarest types of crane in the world, they're also one of the largest. They stand about five feet tall. They're really heavy. Um, and they are quite treasured in some of the Asian cultures. In Chinese culture, they are very important. They're a symbol of luck, longevity, and fidelity. And in Japan, they are the... Um, symbol for Japan Air, the airline. So I don't know if any of you have ever flown Japan Air. I think I have many years ago. Um, and the other fact I found which disturbed me very slightly was that um, the red on their head, you see the guy with the red spot on his head, that is actually, that's actually bald, that is bare skin on his head and it becomes brighter in mating season so look how bright it is there i think he's <laughs> i think he's looking for the lady crane so due to the fact that he's five foot tall he's strong he's large and he's got a red bald head i don't know how close i'd like to get to one of these hello crystal how are you going How's things in Swan Hill, Crystal? Are you guys surviving? So I'm just inching along. You can see how quick this is. I've already covered half that surface and I'm on the way to the end. And I'm just gently doing the pulling technique, pulling the backing off a couple of centimeters at a time or inches at a time, smoothing with the blue tool, lifting up if I think I've got any little air bubbles. There are absolutely no air bubbles. There's a couple of places where um, I have found little bits of um, dust or dirt underneath which makes a little bubble but you can lift it up, smooth it off and 
keep going, which is great. Fabulous. So this is going really quickly. Hopefully, if I have enough time, I'll show you another project as well tonight. Um, and like I mentioned at the beginning, uh, for those of you on at the beginning, these come in such big pieces, A1 size, that you really do get a lot of projects out of them. And also they really add wow factor to a piece of furniture. So say you had like a big chest of drawers, you could actually, um, you know, cut it into the drawer sizes and cover a whole piece of furniture. I've seen some of the other brand ambassadors and content creators do that and it looks really it really has such a wow factor. Here we go. Hello Sue. How are you today? I'm going to keep going with this. Now for those of you who've been following our um, plan to do a mannequin challenge, that is still happening. We had to move it to August because of a few of the team being away. Um, I believe it's now going to be 12th of August and it will be several of us, um, well several groups of us going live on our mannequin challenge and basically we've all had to find a mannequin to decorate with Aussie products and somebody who is more clever with tech than me is going to get us in teams and um, get us all doing these lives in conjunction with each other. Sorry, Deanne, I think I missed your comment about stockists. Yeah, Crystal is your person. She is, um, she has wonderful stock of Aussie stuff. And it's great to support your stockist. Okay. I'm coming to the end now. Look, you can see I've only got a few, a few centimetres left to go. And I've managed to get it lined up pretty straight, which I'm pleased about. What you can do if you're not absolutely sure, you can cut your piece to be a bit big, bigger than the project. And once you've stuck it down, just trim out with a really sharp craft knife, just trim out the bit that's too big. But this has actually worked pretty well in terms of size. And there we go, that's the last bit. I'm just getting it right into the corners. And this was lit, this was so easy, like not a bubble in sight. I'm going to leave that to just settle overnight and then um, like I explained earlier it's just a good idea to seal around the edges with your varnish or top coat or flat coat or whatever product that you like to use to seal your furniture and homewares go around the edge with that and then that's good to go as a piece and it makes just a cute little tray table um magical little altar if you were uh, if you had <laughs> if you had quite a large dog you could put your dog bottles on it but i think it's a bit too nice for that thank you diane thanks lovely so i'm going to put that to one side because i might even have time to show you um, another quick project i'll just lift the camera up again hi guys so this is um from the same piece, cut from exactly the same piece. And I've cut this one to just fit a canvas board, which is one of these cheap canvas panels it's from the $2 shop. It's 12 by 16 inches or 30 by 40 centimeters. And I thought I could um, make it into a piece of wall art. Can you put cups of tea on it or will it melt it? Liz, you can because it's vinyl, so it's well protected. 
I, to be honest, I would probably put a coaster as well, just in case, because um, you just want to keep the surface really, really nice. But if you did spill some hot liquid or something on it, it's totally wiped clean. Um, and it is waterproof. I t even, th even though I seal all my pieces of furniture, I tend to use coasters anyway. And Siobhan is um, saying, yes, you can too. Yeah. All right. So here is my crane. I'm going to make him into a piece of wall art. I should say him, it could be her, but he does look, there's the bald head and the scary red patch. So I think it might be the uh, one of these males again. Good, I'll just move that over. And exactly the same technique. I have sealed this because it is a canvas. I wasn't sure um, how poor it would be. And it's always a good idea just to have a nice, clean, sealed surface to work on. And again, I'm just going to pull back my edge, pop it on, here we go, right along the top. And once you've got that, once you've got that top bit on, or wherever you begin, whichever end you begin from, that is, that is really the only bit that you've got to line up and be careful with. And the rest of it is pretty plain sailing. And again, I'm just going to use my blue tool. Smooth it on. Oh, Yvonne, you're so kind. You are kind. But um, it is pretty easy. And I can say that because... I haven't been with um, Aussie Decor for very long and at first I was a little bit nervous about trying the product and um, getting to grips with them and it's really once you've had a go it really boosts your confidence because they're just you know they're they're designed for people who just want to have a go at craft you might be a really experienced furniture painter or a really experienced crafter, but it's, they're also designed for people who just um, love the designs and want to make things look beautiful and, you know, want to add a bit of character to their homes. Or, you know, um, maybe you've got an Airbnb or something like that and you want a few unique pieces around the place. I think this would make a really pretty piece of wall art. You can see, I might move it over because you're not, I'm not getting much of it in the camera. And you could even put this on a really big canvas. You could, you could use the whole of your cranes on a really big canvas and make a gorgeous piece of wall art for your lounge room. Now I've got a little bubble there. I'm just going to lift that off. There we go. How are we doing for time? I think we're okay. Good. Now, for those of you who haven't joined the Creative Club yet, um, that is the Aussie Facebook group that is for all of um, your creations. So if you're making things, if you're using the Aussie Decor product to make things, doesn't matter how small or how big, you might be sticking transfers on your teapot or you might be working on huge pieces of furniture. Do, do pop them on the page because it's so nice for everyone to see. It's also a very supportive group. Um, people just love to see what each other's doing and there's no, you know, there's no sort of sense of competition. It's just a lot of fun. So I'm halfway along with this guy already. Oh, I've lifted him up too high. And um, Yvonne, I know you um, are about to, I think you said you're moving, but I know you said you had um, your eye on some of the products. So if you want any advice, please reach out to me or anyone from the Aussie Decor team. Have a look at the website. The link is above this video. Have a look through all the products. 
We do have slightly different products in some of the regions, so make sure you click at the bottom of the website, there's an area you can click for your region, so make sure you're in the region that you live in, and then you can see exactly what's available. Um, and don't hesitate to ask if you want any advice on any of the products at all, because we're here to help, we're here to like help you have a good time with them. Sounds like my kind of group, said Deanne. Yeah, it's really fun, Deanne. Jump on it, it's cool. The link is above the video as well. It's called Aussie Decor Creative Club. I've seen some amazing creations in it and we do have um, competitions as well. Um, Siobhan, can you confirm, I think the fabulous fuchsia and cacti competition is still on. I think it's running till the end of July. But if you buy one of the new Fabulous Fuchsia or Cacti transfers, you use them on a piece of furniture, you go in the, uh, the um, competition to win $120 worth of Aussie products, which is pretty pretty nice price because that buys a lot of product. Um, and you also get to be the feature photo for the month, which is really fun. Get to be good to be a star for a month. So if you do see a little bubble, I had a little bubble in the middle there and I'm going to push it out to the edge because um, that the air just releases out of the edge of your design. I'm coming to the end. I just love the colours of this. And the more I look at it, I've noticed that the um, the blues down here, they really shimmer. It actually looks almost like it's made of sequins or something or fabric. If you saw that out of the distance, you just would, yeah, you'd think it was fabric. I've got one little bubble there I'm gonna lift up. All gone. Quite, um, it's quite meditative as well doing this, it's really relaxing. I've had a really busy day of working, got my son at home, online learning, so I was really looking forward to this. This is like my, my fun time to hang out with you guys. So he's done, he's, um, the sticky bit is going slightly over the edge, so what I will do is I'll turn this over and I will cut with my craft knife just the excess off the edge but for the purpose of showing you I think he's turned out pretty well I'm just going to lift the camera up again so you can see so I mean that's such a quick project that is a five less than ten minute piece of wall art that you can put somewhere and you know that would just look gorgeous especially if you you know, you um, had it sitting in the corner of a room with a little candle, maybe somewhere with um, somewhere to echo the red or the blues. Um, hi Belinda, how are you? So yeah. So, so far we've got tray table, we've got wall art, and I have all of this left to, so you actually get three cranes on your sheet plus all the blooms, you know, you could even um, cut out these fabulous blooms and use them on something, which would, would look lovely. Yeah, Liz, the colours are gorgeous, aren't they? Really gorgeous. Give you a close up there. Um, and I love these sort of sparkly, sequiny looking bits. Hi, Sharon, how are you? So that's... Um, all I've really got time for, apart from to say, um, yell out please if you have any questions, you can either post them here under the video because I'll be checking back. Um, you can reach out to any of the team at Aussie Decor. You can reach out to me on my Facebook page, Sarah McCauley Studio. Um, do follow me if you would like to and see what I'm up to. Um, and I'm here seven o'clock every Monday night.
in Sydney. So um, I love doing this and I've got some really cool things coming up for next week. Another Japanese theme, I've got koi carp, I've got lotus, I've got water lilies. Um, it's it's going to be really cool. I seem to be on a run of Japanese at the moment, which is great. It suits me really well. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? I like the tray table too. I've um, highlighted it with a little bit of metallic wax, so I'll go I'll go back and I'll just finish that all off, and then I'll post um, photos on the Aussie Decor page. Um, and that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. F have a look at the links above the video. Jump on the Aussie page, check out all the products um, and yeah, yell out if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.